How is everybody doing? Fantastic, I'm happy to hear it. I'm sorry, I'm going through it with you. I'll, I'll take some of that fumes and just let you know that, hey, it's all temporary. The shit will get better soon. I promise. Or it won't. And I'm a liar. And then I'm sorry for being a liar because it didn't get better when you were actually clutching onto those words, but hopefully that's not the case. Although, mathematically speaking, depending on how many people watch this, that's probably going to be the case for at least one or two. Here we are. What are we doing? I need that giant hunk of wood right there. Wheeled all the way up here, all the way over to there. Uh, I have the hand cart, but it's not going to work because, uh, yeah, so now I need to get the rolling. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Well, it's nothing really fucking special, but if you're doing pillowcase tech, this will probably help you out if you have some equipment. You need some things to be able to do it. So, if you don't have the things, I don't know, maybe enjoy the video. Uh, everything that I have to make this cost me under $250 for this one thing here but you will understand sometimes you spend like 250 bucks and you get like ten thousand dollars worth of investment out of it because it's a tool that you're using from here to out Blech. here to kingdom come blah blah i'm gonna start wheeling that son of a bitch up there it's heavy now that we have it over here gotta get your piece of scrap meal uh <laughs> scrap meal scrap metal it's actually not scrap but it's Scrap metal for how I acquired it. I'm just going to use super strut. I need to get you a bandsaw. And unfortunately, for the way that I'm going to do it, you kind of got a head. Yeah, you hear me just knocking everything over. Cheap little Harbor Freight Flux Core welder. Cheap as shit. Garbage. That's what you think. I understand. Uh, I'm kind of a little bit surprised by this thing. So what we're going to do first is measure off our leg width with that. I'm just going to grab my strut. Am I in camera here? Not really. I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Perfect. That's exactly where it needs to be. It's precise. Cause that's how we do shit over here, precise. Oh. Make sure the face isn't on camera cause the mask ain't on. Oh. So there's that piece. And then I need this guy right here. Close enough. So then we need it about this wide. About that wide, and then we need it about this tall. And we need two of them for being that tall. So we'll grab that there like that. Like that. And there we go. Alright, and what do you know? We have a piece of scrap left over. So now what we're going to do, find our other side piece. Hang on. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. I'll see you guys in a minute when we're starting to weld. <coughs> Just welcome if you got them. If it's too windy, I'm sorry. Um, I gotta figure out how I wanna build them now. I already know my lengths and all that stuff, so I just gotta figure out how to put it together. And yeah, so let's get going. Don't want to have it. I don't think it'll hit me at all. 
I was going to try to talk while I was figuring that out with you, but you're not going to be able to hear me in this mask. So, sorry, we're coming more to a top-down view. So I want to weld flat to flat because I'm not a welder and I want to get practice with it. Um, so I guess we can go pretty simply like that. Pretty crude. And then attach the bar across the top. But then that's not a lot. So if I put it on and go like this. So I can go like that for the sides. And then run my top bar like that. This ain't gonna be tall enough. This ain't gonna be tall enough for a pillowcase. I need it like that to be honest. Uh, let me go see if I got some pipe. Uh, yeah, that's not going to be tall enough. That was an annoying half hour. Alright. I'm pretty sure I should change the settings on the welder. Because the pipe is thicker. So we will turn something. And see what it does. Remember, I'm not a welder, and this is a cheap harbor freight thing, so you can do it. Nothing is impossible. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. A lot of shit's impossible. There is so much shit and pop die that is the dumbest thing I probably could have said today. Sorry about that. I'd absolutely just lie to you. I don't even know if you can hear me. It's probably just a whole bunch of like uh, Kenny from South Park sound. <laughs> Looks about right. I think I can get a lot of metal. Everything you see wrong, all I see is something right because it's going to work. And that's all I care about. So we'll throw that off to the side and get this other one on. Between four and five. One, two, three, four, five. So it's right there. Now this one's definitely not straight. We're going to flip that bad start around like that.
All right, hopefully I didn't fry out my freaking camera lens. Just thought about that. All right, real welders, tell me how bad that is. I know you're gonna say not the slag off, but I'm not worried about it. That's how that's how backyarding it we are right now. Okay? Does it stand up? It does. We're ahead of the game. All right. Let's see if our other one stands up. Not really, but it's okay because we can just add a brace. We have a welding machine. Who gives a shit now? Do you understand? Oh, there we go. We just have to find the right angle. It'll stand up. Why not? Sure. We have to bend it. We'll bend it. It's not a big deal. When in doubt, find a fucking hammer. All right. Now we're going to take this piece, our longer piece. We're just going to smack that bastard on there just like that. That's it. Well, it's going to be a little bit spaced apart, further apart. But yeah, I should probably tack both of them on. That way it's a little bit easier and stands up by itself. And then I can take the other two braces that I have over there, the ones that we're not going to use, and add them as X pieces to it. Because it's not straight at all. But I don't care. That's what's hitting me. It's my clothesline hitting me in the head. What could go wrong? I better not even joke. Hmm. See? Not being a welder. Not being a welder. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. It's probably just smarter to lay it down. And that's what we call learning. Should we lay it? I don't know. I'll be right back. We'll figure this out. Ah, shit. This glove doesn't work. I can't turn it off with this glove. Before the real welders ask what I'm doing, I don't know. Figuring it out as we go. That was a weird sound. Oh, that's close to the camera. I'll set you back a little bit. Well, I'd say that held up. It was actually crooked as shit like that before we threw it, so if anything, we helped it out. Uh, yeah. How's this for 45 minutes worth of not knowing what the fuck I'm doing? 
It'll work. Now let's put it to the second test. All right, boys. The only other test we got left to do is the functionality test. And if it works, oh man. I don't know. It just works. I'm kind of expecting it to. Because that's what we do. That's how I live. We just gotta get around the pot. We're getting there. Now we can let her drip dry. And I ain't gotta go outside and worry about bugs landing on it. Although she's probably just about right at that field temperature. Or not field temperature, field capacity. She's already at temperature. And just so you know, in that substrate is the secret that I've been keeping from you guys on how I do my personal grows. And uh, here I'll give you a little sneak peek at that video because uh, you might get messages like this from your friends. Uh, but yeah, so thanks. Um, it looks like shit. It will absolutely work for as long as I need it to work. And that's the only thing. Um, I ended up building when I was younger. I had, had a stupid ass 2004 Saturn I on Redline. And somebody told me after I purchased the car, um, do you want function or fashion? At which point we ended up putting over 500 wheel horsepower on the car. And uh, that's kind of how I lived my life ever since. I could have made this straight. I could have made it nice and pretty. Or I can make something that works and save a whole bunch of what doesn't exist. And it's at this point in time I'd like to thank you for your time. It's all we have and it does not exist. Much love and stay chubby friends. As much fun as that car was, it was more fun to put a Han Stage 2 Turbo on a 99 Katana. Can of tune and pissed off a lot of people as well. Thank you, friends. Sometimes it's fun to troll people while having fun. Love you.